How do you get the gross domestic product? By adding the four components. Consumer expenditures, interest expenditures, government expenditures, and net exports. The nominal GDP measures the output of the economy at current prices. Using current dollars does not take inflation or deflation into account. Inflation causes prices to rise and increases the nominal GDP. To provide a more accurate picture of the economy, the real GDP is calculated. The real GDP measures the output of the economy in constant dollars. These constant dollars are fixed from a specific year. Here's an example of nominal versus real GDP. Note that in year two, we did not increase production, and yet GDP increased. This is due to an increase in price, not an increase in production or output. Consequently, our GDP is overstated. To compensate, we will calculate GDP using year one as our base year. Since we did not have any increases in GDP, our real GDP is unchanged. Real GDP is one of the most important factors of economic performance. Rise in real GDP indicates economic growth. A fall in real GDP indicates economic decline. Real GDP per capita is the measurement most often used to measure standard of living. The real GDP per capita is calculated by dividing the nation's real GDP by its population. It is what each person's share would be if the total output of the country was divided equally among its citizens. Standards of living refers to the quality of life in the country. It increases as the GDP per capita increases. Countries with high per capita GDP tend to have higher levels of education and literacy rates, Health of the country's population improves. The life expectancy is longer and the infant mortality rates decrease. Higher per capita GDP results in bigger and better homes, more cars, and more travel. Here's a list of the top 11 countries by their GDP per capita. This information can be obtained from the CIA World Factbook online. If the GDP growth rate is speeding up, the Feds may raise interest rates to stem inflation. By declining GDP usually leads to layoffs and unemployment. Declining GDP means business revenues are down. You should look at the GDP quarterly reports. They're from the BEA or Bureau of Economic and Analysis. To look at which sectors of the economy are growing and which are declining, this would help you determine whether and where you should invest your money.